One of the core themes explored in The Batman is that of unmasking the truth. There are recurring allusions to the dichotomy between masked and unmasked, as well as an exploration of what that means for individuals and society. Riddler is on a righteous quest to unmask the corruption in Gotham City. The politicians and legal officials who preside over the city present a front of respectability, when behind the scenes they're behaving in immoral and even criminal ways, and this hypocrisy, this deceit is a sin Riddler is driven to expose and punish. This film plays with many of the same concepts as previous significant takes on the character, reaching some different conclusions, some variations of the same conclusions, and approaching certain things from different perspectives. As such, it seems relevant to make comparisons to The Dark Knight, as there are various similarities and ways in which this new film likely draws from this predecessor, whether it be directly or indirectly. Proposing and solving a riddle is in itself a process of masking and then unmasking the truth, so using the Riddler as the main villain was an appropriate choice to set up this thematic exploration around truth. The same theme is explored in The Dark Knight, but in a different way. In that film, the Joker embarks on a crusade to unmask the truth about society, humanity, those in power, symbols of virtue, etc. But he doesn't achieve it by exposing overt, easy to condemn examples of corruption in the authority structure of society. He does it in a more extensive and frighteningly disillusioning way, unmasking a far more uncomfortable truth. Not merely that there are corrupt people in positions of power or in society generally, but that even the best of people are corruptible. There's evil in everyone, and it just takes the right amount of pressure to bring it out. Applying that pressure is exactly what the Joker does in that film to prove his point. In this regard, the Joker from The Dark Knight and the Riddler from The Batman have opposing motivations, because Joker seeks to show the meaninglessness of symbols, such as heroes and virtuous authority figures, demonstrating that they can always be broken down, which means they never stood for the transcendent values they claimed to stand for in the first place, and that if the symbols for those values are shown to be lies, maybe the values themselves are also lies. It's a nihilistic worldview. In contrast, Riddler is seeking to expose corruption to punish those who have betrayed the values they claim to stand for. The purpose to his crusade is predicated on the implicit assumption that external, transcendent moral values exist, and ideally should be adhered to for a better world to arise. I hope you enjoyed this quick take. If you did, you might want to check out the playlist of other quick takes on this channel. You might also enjoy some of my longer video essays. They cover more superhero topics and other film and media topics too. Thanks for watching. See you next time.